Hey there, how's it going? I'm Andy Sterkowitz. I'm a self-taught programmer, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the best way to make progress faster when you were learning to code. And this video is really meant for people who are trying to change careers and become a programmer, but they find that their progress, it's not going well. It's too slower than they want. Maybe they have spent weeks or months working on projects and they're not going anywhere, or you've been learning a programming language for months and you still haven't built even a simple project by yourself, or you just feel like you just wanna quit at this point. Things just aren't going well. You feel like the job is just so far out of reach that at this point, it's just not even worth it. So. We're gonna cover that now. If you are new here, if you don't know who the heck I am, I'm Andy Sterkowitz. Like I said, I'm a self-taught programmer. I'm also a coach and mentor to everyday people who are aspiring developers, people who wanna switch and get into this career. This channel is all about the tools and strategies to make that a happen, make that a reality. So I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Now, with that being said, so what is the biggest challenge here for making progress? What I've seen from all the people that I've worked with, from people who are just trying to do this, who get in contact with me, the biggest issue that you will have is that you take way too long to learn a programming language, learn the basics, uh, put projects together than is necessary, right? So in other words, a project that could take you three weeks, most people spend four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks, months, sometimes even years to complete a project, which is ridiculous to me. The idea is you want to create a portfolio, a bunch of projects that can show off the skills that you have, that you've learned from tutorials and books that you can go out there and get a job with. And so most people don't realize that. They get lost in concept land that I like to call it, like they're just learning concepts all the time or they create projects that they think have to be perfect, whatever that means, before they can move on. So I think this really comes from what's called Parkinson's law, which means that however much time you allot to get something done, you typically take all of that time, right? So if you are gonna build a to-do app, let's say, if you give yourself six months to build a simple to-do app using your favorite programming language, guess how long it can take you to build that project? It can take you six months because in programming especially, there's eight million things you can do with it, right? So you can build out the minimum viable product and get a to-do app showing up, but you can work on styling, you can work on continuous integration, you can work on adding more frameworks to there, you can work on refactoring the code endlessly, you can work on unit testing it, acceptance testing it, integration testing it. It goes on and on and on. It can be an endless, I mean endless path to actually finish something like a simple to-do project. And so what I found is that most people don't have a set deadline for when they are going to finish either learning a programming language or finishing a project. And so my suggestion to you is to create deadlines for everything. So you want to set deadlines for number one for when you're going to start applying for jobs. So just pick a date in the future. If you're comfortable with six months, if you're comfortable with a year, whatever it is, pick a date where you are going to start applying for jobs and do not renege on that commitment. In other words, like you are going to start applying for jobs even if you didn't do anything from now until then. You have to commit to that. Because what it does is it gives you a sense of urgency, right? He says, okay, you know what? In six months, I'm going to do this, so I have to figure out a plan to get there. And your brain will certainly light up with creativity, right? Now, the second thing is you have to have those intermediate goals as well. So you're gonna to wanna to learn certain programming languages, maybe frameworks within those programming languages. You wanna make sure that you're learning one at a time and you're setting deadlines for yourself. So if you're gonna start with HTML and CSS, give yourself two weeks to four weeks. If you're gonna learn JavaScript, give yourself another you know, month or three months. If you're gonna learn a framework in JavaScript, give yourself one to three months. If you're gonna learn uh, another programming language, again, you get the basic idea here. And that way you give yourself an overall timeline of how, and how much time you're gonna spend and you can stick to that. Now, as far as your projects go, your projects are very, very important. So you wanna have deadlines on the projects that you're gonna be putting in your portfolio. Your portfolio is obviously the key piece that's gonna get you a job when you have no experience as a programmer. So you wanna make sure that you, for each project you have, starting with your simple projects up to even your most complicated projects, wanna give yourself deadlines along the way. And sometimes the deadlines will be off, that's okay, you don't know everything, you don't have context for how long it should take. But here's the thing, if you give yourself deadlines, as the deadline approaches, as it gets close, you can decide whether you wanna cut out certain functionality, you can decide whether you wanna give yourself another week or two weeks, if that's gonna fit into your overall picture of getting to where you wanna go. But either way, like the idea is that you, none of your projects should be perfect. They should be good enough. That's all that you really wanna do. And giving yourself that tight deadline will help to give you a better picture of what things are important. Should you spend more time on styling? Do you have to really make the code perfect? 
and it allows you to move on after that and, and totally be carefree about it. In other words, you're not gonna be stressing about it. Now, this is really important to understand. Deadlines are not some arbitrary thing that I came up with. There's a few reasons why I've really found that deadlines work in making people make progress faster. The first thing that it does is it kills perf uh, perfectionist tendencies, right? So in other words, a lot of you guys have come in here, you're trying to learn to code and your perfectionism takes over and you can't move on to your next project, you can't move on to the next programming language because you haven't learned enough or you haven't had enough bells and whistles on some of the most simple projects that you've built. And so again, a project that could take four weeks now takes eight weeks, it takes 12 weeks, it takes 16 weeks. Meanwhile, the other guy or girl out there who just said, okay, you know what, I put something together, I'm ready to move on, they're moving on, maybe they've learned a new programming language at this point. So the, the perfectionist tendencies are hard to control. I'm a perfectionist, even when I'm building my own project, I, I find myself wanting to refactor endlessly because refactoring is so much fun. But you have to have a hard cap on it by using that deadline. Another reason why I like deadlines is because it turns your brain on, lights your brain up, right? I mean, how many of us experienced in high school or college that experience of having a project due uh, it's six months and you didn't do anything until five months and three weeks until the project was basically due and all of a sudden the night before your your brain lights up with so much creativity and all of a sudden you start figuring out things that you four or five months ago couldn't even seem to muster because you just didn't have that sense of urgency. So for whatever reason, your brain tends to get very creative. It tends to actually light up when you have that sense of urgency that, hey, this project is due in two weeks or three weeks. I can't just sit around and wait to the very last minute. The worst thing is when you have no deadline. Most people have no deadlines for their projects. So instead of saying like, oh, you know, I need to work on this today and get this finished, they tend to go, you know, I have plenty of time left. There's no urgency to this, so I'll figure this out later. Later, I will figure this out. You need to get yourself to turn it on, and that I think there's no better way than to set a deadline for yourself. It also gives you something to look forward to, so you have, like your brain, in order to have the motivation to do something, has to know that there's an end, right? It has to know that, like, look, after this, I'm gonna do something else that's gonna lead me closer to my goal. You have to have a light at the end of the tunnel, and when you have a deadline in your project, you know that, okay, when this day hits, chances are good that I'm gonna move on to the next project. And that next project is gonna put me a little bit closer to my end goal of becoming a developer. So deadlines play a big role in that. Even from there, what I love about deadlines is just the sense of finality. So when you have a deadline on your project, it allows you to feel good, have that, that feeling that you won something, right? That you have that small win, that small step to your, your next destination. And so I love it from that regard. You know like once you finish a, pro finish a project, even if it's not perfect, there's, there's like a sense of completion there. And I think most people kind of overlook this, but you want to you want to build up your confidence. You want to know that, hey, you know, I built this project and I built that project and I built this project and this one and that one. And it gives you, you know, just having those those projects out there, it just makes you feel like you've accomplished more than if you just finish two or three books and you don't feel like you can actually build anything. So having a sense of finality, like having something to look forward to and making sure your brain is turned on and that your, your perfectionist tendencies don't get in the way are all things that deadlines can help you to avoid. Now before I end this video, there's really two important things I just wanna make sure I'm making very clear here before we go our separate ways and that is this. So the first thing is, is deadlines are really hard when you don't have any context for this if you don't have any prior experience with programming and that's totally okay. It's okay to set deadlines that are not realistic. You'll find out more as you go. The key thing here is if you if you find that you set a deadline for yourself and the deadline's approaching and you don't feel like you're very, very close to actually completing the project, it's okay to cut out functionality. Say you had a to-do app and you had a couple really cool features you wanted to add to it, it's okay to remove some of those features as long as you hit the minimum viable product or minimum viable idea of that application, that's okay. And the second thing to keep in mind is that when you set deadlines for yourself and you actually complete them, you're typically not going to feel ready to move on to the next project. You're, they're typically going to feel like, uh, I need to spend more time in this, right? Or I didn't learn this concept or that concept when I built that project. And it's totally okay to feel like this. You should still move on to your next project. In fact, you should really just get very, very comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's sort of programming in a nutshell is that you're mostly uncomfortable in the beginning of your career because you just don't know what you don't know. But become very, very comfortable with not knowing and it's okay to move on to the next project before you're ready. As long as you're being consistent with your learning, as long as you're trying to learn everything that you can, that's the goal here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Really the idea is to give you a tool to make progress more quickly. Instead of to you know toiling around or not being able to figure this out or quitting because you feel like you just aren't going anywhere, 
create deadlines for yourself, play around the, the higher end deadline with when you're gonna start applying for jobs, the middle and the lower end for your projects. And I guarantee that will give you that sense of urgency that's required to start making that progress more quickly. So I highly recommend, if you enjoyed the video, to please leave a like, the YouTube algorithm loves that. Uh, other than that, guys, if you are new to programming and you just started this and you're trying to figure out what the best programming language is or the best approach is to this, I've created a free PDF report of the top five programming languages to learn in 2019. So if you want a copy of that, you can go to the link in the description that I'll put below here. Other than that, uh, that's really all I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care and peace out.